Hospitals in the Bay Area are reporting more influenza-like illness, pointing to a mutation in the strain. There's this, you know, mutation seen in this H3N2, which is why it's gotten its own name uh, under subclade K is kind of the other medical terminology. But I think the worry is that is there enough mutations in this virus, which we see influenza do. It tends to what we call drift into kind of new versions of of influenza, which, you know, when there's enough mutations, we worry about the vaccine efficacy. The CDC estimates that there have been at least 7.5 million illnesses and 3,100 deaths from flu this season so far. That's up from 4.6 million illnesses and 1,900 deaths just last week. So is this strain worse than the one that we saw last year? I think time will tell. I don't think we know for that right now. I think there has been a lot of alarm in different countries in, you know, Japan and United Kingdom. There's been more cases earlier on in the year. So I think that's what's gotten people alarmed. In Santa Clara County, wastewater is giving this region a glimpse into the uptake of cases. We're seeing an increase in influenza concentrations in the wastewater, which signifies that we're seeing spread of influenza in our community. We're also seeing increases in emergency department visits due to influenza and hospitalizations. Our data team confirmed the overall hospitalization rate in the Bay Area is a little over two people per 100,000 residents. The number is slightly higher in Santa Clara County. The subclade K does belong to the H3N2 strain. And anytime we have an H3 predominant flu season, um, as opposed to say an H1N1 predominant season, we tend to see more severe um, impacts. Medical experts are recommending to still get vaccinated to prevent severe illness, especially those over 60 years old and young children. And ask your doctor about an antiviral medication. When you take that medicine, um, it shortens the length of your illness. And the biggest worry is that this flu strain could lead to more severe disease. Dr. Rubio said hospitals are reporting infections in the lungs and some inflammation of heart tissue associated with this strain. The prediction is for this flu season to end anywhere between April and May. Mm. Emma?